Okay, here we go. I put the uh, old plastic stuff in here where the expansion was going on uh, in the front. Put all the side, front grill, top part, um, including um, fan controller, those old cables going here. And uh, so, what we have, I uh, also put just in a couple screws, I, I put um, motherboard, power supply, video card, so, uh, and the reservoir here. So, I basically, I can see what's going on. And um, I already thought about the how I will do it, and uh, essentially, that's my solution. Um, I wanted CPU be fed with water uh, from the radiator. After that, I want to cool my chipset, my motherboard. From motherboard, I would like cool my cards. So that's the uh, original idea that I had. So basically, what I will do is a pump right here. and. Um, so also I need to put in consideration what kind of fitting I use. Uh, we're going to use so I'm using straight fitting like this. It goes to tube get connected straight or fitting like this, which is uh, under like 35, uh, 45 degrees angle, which helps uh, to bend the uh, tube less. So what I will do is uh, do following setup from the Radiator. I'll put water into reservoir. From the reservoir, I will feed the pump. From the pump, I will go and uh, connect it straight to CPU. From CPU, I'll go to MOSFET block number one. From from MOSFET block number one, I go to MOSFET block number two. From number two, I will go to the chipset block and from chipset block I'll go to video card 1 from video card 1 I go to video card 2 and I will end up my loop going back to the radiator so I'll have a nice um, shortest possible loop in my case and I want video cards will be the last components as they run most uh, hotter than anything else so they won't hit the rest after water going through them. Another possibility is that I might consider maybe to put another radiator here if my temperatures wouldn't be too good. So basically after I'll go through um, uh, motherboard and CPU, I might go to the, to the additional um, radiator and from that radiator I go to the car. But it will be very easy change so it's okay, I will go just with this baby and see what's going on, if it's enough uh, for me for silent setup because I don't want uh, to be too noisy. And um, here we go. So basically next video what I will do is I will remove motherboard all components back. So I need to address motherboard, take this gigabyte standard um, chipset cooling um, things and uh, put um, custom set and I also will replace a CPU cooling block. I'm using coolants here. It's a great block. I really like it but because I have more stuff I, I, I would like to put a less restrictive block. I'll put um, EK uh, Supreme block here and other than that, that what it look like and things get starting making shape and um, so far so good. So let's see how things goes in the next video.